the 7.4-inch MSI Claw, a competitor to the Steam Deck that allows you to play your favorite PC games when you're not at home, has been unveiled by MSI. How does it stack up against the Asus ROG Ally, one of the most powerful gaming handhelds available? Although the appearance and display departments of the two handhelds may have some important similarities, there are also important distinctions that will sway your decision in favor of one over the other. As we've just had the opportunity to use the MSI Claw firsthand, we're primarily concentrating on the specifications here, having spent a lot of time with the ROG Ally. Once we've had some time with the MSI Claw, we'll make sure to update this, so check back soon for more. In spite of coming from two very different brands, the ROG Ally and MSI Claw have a strange resemblance in appearance. Both feature a 7.4-inch display with a refresh rate of 120Hz and Full HD IPS LCD screen technology. Although MSI hasn't confirmed specifics like maximum brightness, we wouldn't be shocked if it matched the ROG Ally's 500 nits maximum brightness, considering how close the panels are. Not only do the screens and general style of the two gaming handhelds match, but even minute details like the positioning of their buttons appear to be almost exact replicas. This is quite convenient for customers, since it guarantees a generally consistent experience, no matter which portable device they choose. In addition, we found that the ROG Ally was quite comfortable to use for extended periods of time, which is encouraging for the MSI Claw, and we commended it for its fashionable style, in contrast to the somewhat antiquated-looking Steam Deck. Although the MSI Claw and ROG Ally may seem rather similar at first glance, there is one important distinction between them, the processors. This is due to the fact that the new MSI Claw has Intel processors, the Intel Core Ultra 5 or Ultra 7, depending on the version you choose, with 16 gigs of RAM and either 512 gigs or 1 terabyte of storage. In contrast, the ROG Ally has opted for AMD and comes equipped with a Ryzen Z1 or Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and either 512 gigs or 1 terabyte of storage. It'll certainly be fascinating to see how the two match up side by side in overall performance, especially considering that the MSI Claw has a higher TDP of 45 watts, with a minimum of 10 watts, compared to the 10 to 30 watts range on offer from the ROG Ally. In any case, we thought the ROG Ally provided a good portable gaming experience, outperforming the Steam Deck and benchmark testing by about 10 to 15 frames per second and having a higher resolution. Even though the ROG Ally and MSI Claw can offer a portable gaming experience that is perfect for long travels, they are still not the most powerful gaming devices available. Similar to the Asus ROG Flow Z13 gaming tablet, Asus sought to address this problem by offering an optional XG mobile interface that, in essence, gives users access to a far more potent egg pool than the device's internal chipset. The problem is that it's a niche within a niche because it costs over $1,000 more than the portable itself and can only be used at home on a desk. MSI learned from Asus's early missteps with the ROG Ally and has opted instead for a Thunderbolt 4 interface with the MSI Claw, which essentially allows it to hook up to a much larger selection of eGPU solutions, many of which are cheaper than Asus's XG Mobile system. The MSI Claw appears to be a superior choice if you anticipate needing to connect an external GPU in order to play genuinely top-tier AAA games at high frame rates, but we'll have to verify this until we receive it for a thorough review. During our evaluation, one of our main concerns with the ROG Ally was its short battery life. With a 40 watt hours battery, we discovered that it could only last for roughly 90 minutes of gameplay in a AAA game. Performance varies naturally according to the game, with less demanding independent titles running a little bit longer on the handheld, but it doesn't help if you want to play titles like Cyberpunk 2077 or Starfield. The MSI Claw has a significantly larger 53 watt hours battery, which is good news because it should mean longer battery life. Naturally, we don't anticipate significant profits, but in our opinion, any AAA game lasting more than 90 minutes is a success. The 45 watts TDP of the MSI Claw, which consumes more power when in operation than the ROG Ally's 30 watts TDP, is the sole possible drawback. That might outweigh any possible advantages of a bigger battery, but we'll need to benchmark it to be sure. While a firm release date has not yet been set, MSI stated at CES 2024 that the MSI Claw will retail for $699, with a more powerful edition available for an additional $799. The company also stated that the device will be available somewhere in the first half of 2024. Conversely, the Asus ROG Ally has been in stock since the beginning of 2023. Furthermore, it is truly less expensive than the MSI Claw, with a starting price of $599 that is marginally lower than the latter's and a top-end model that costs $699, an additional $100. Thank you for watching this comparison, I can also recommend other videos about ROG Ally, I will leave the links in the description under this video, have a nice day, and God bless you.